Alpacas are a member of the camelid family and originated from South America. Alpacas come in two breeds, Wakia and Suri. Alpacas were first imported to the United States in 1984. Their feet have unique structure which enables them to be very sure-footed and cause minimal damage to the environment. Each foot is made up of two toes, two tail and four digits, which have a two nails and pad. The two nails extend off the front of each toe and curve to the point toward the crown. The unique anatomy of their feet make alpacas easy to keep and easy on the land. Alpacas have such a unique way of sitting. They sit by folding their front legs and let their entire weight fall down on their knees. This sounds much easier than it is. Alpacas spend their waking hours standing up and it's quite a chore for them to fold their legs and plop down on the ground. When alpaca chew their cuts, they secret saliva. This saliva contains a natural antacid which helps to buffer the rumen of first compartment. Sounds sort of gross, huh? It is said that the cat chewing is a sign of contentment and the alpacas do look very peaceful and content when they are quietly cursed chewing their cats. Hi, this is alpaca. Okay, alpaca is very South America. We have two alpaca here, both are female. This is Coco and then this one is Caramel. Okay, usually uh, when they wake up in the morning at uh, 11 a.m., we will feed them with nape grass and then we also feed them with sweet potato leaf uh, and then grass and hay. Okay, this is the hay. Then we, we just put the hay here so they will eat continuously. Alpacas have excellent vision and are very capable of spotting danger and alerting their herd or other animals around them. For this reason, alpacas are commonly used as garden animals for flocks of sheep or lambing use. Their excellent vision means that when herding and handling alpacas, handlers should move slowly so as not to frighten the alpacas. Alpacas eat about 2 pounds of grass and hay per day and chew a cut. Pasture grass is a great source of protein. They get the fiber from hay or from long stems which provides them with vitamin E. Green grass contains vitamin A and E. Alpacas can eat natural and fertilized grass. To provide selenium and other necessary vitamins, ranchers will feed their domestic alpacas a daily dose of grain to provide additional nutrients that are not fully obtained from their primary diet. Not to forget that they love to express their feelings too. Alpacas are tidy. An example of this is that they tend to love a communal dung heap. This quality is beneficial because it relieves us from the stress of collecting randomly scattered droppings. Thus, you can select an ideal spot for your alpacas to deposit their beans, so it is easier to clean it up. Alpacas are smart animals and are fairly easy to train. They can learn to compete in obstacle courses and jump small hurdles. They typically live in temperate conditions in the mountains with high altitude. After they finish their breakfast, we uh, take them out so they can go around here. They are working, walking around here. So they have exercise, exercise and then uh, until 12 p.m.
Like people, alpacas are individuals, each one with a different personality. Some are shy and passive, some playful and boisterous, while others are proud and determined. They are not only fun to be around, but also curious about everything happening in their surroundings. When most people think of therapy, animals they imagine dogs, but therapy alpacas are growing in popularity at hospitals, healthcare, facilities, and retirement homes around the world. For example, one couple in Australia has been providing therapy alpacas for 15 years. Are they friendly? Uh, actually, they are very friendly animals, but we need to uh, take a lot of time to be friendly with them because they are uh, uh, very insecure animals, so they have trust issue with the human. Thank you! Alpacas are safe and pleasant to be around. They do not bite or butt and do not have sharp teeth, horns, hooves, or claws. In fact, after establishing trust from familiarity, most alpacas will allow you to stroke their backs and necks and even hug them. Here it comes. She's spitting up. We'll be carrying on. There it goes. We got it.